Hi, my name is Evan Hodges and I'm a film and mixed media composer. A part of my sound is blending electronic instruments and orchestral instruments together to create immersive scores that captivate an audience, provide wonder, and propel the narrative. When it comes to scoring music for film, no project is the same. Some require only electronic sounds, some require orchestral, some combine a blend of both. I really have no idea what I'm gonna use until I speak with the director, or I work out a scenario from the script in my head. I use a lot of analog synthesizers in my scores, one of which is the OB6 by Sequential. I really love it because it's a super musical synthesizer that has its own voice, but is also very supportive and does a lot of things really well. In the last video, I talked about how I use it as a percussive slash textural sound bed in a short film. In this video, I'm gonna focus on how it works with other sounds. The project that I'm gonna showcase features electronic instruments, virtual VSTs, field recordings, and other recorded instruments, all kind of together in this one project. And I wanted to showcase how the OB6 interplays with other sounds. And I didn't wanna make some crazy patch. I used a relatively basic patch and did a couple light modifications to it and ran it through an even tied H9000. But you can achieve that sound with any external reverb, plugin, or box unit. So let's dive into the project. I'm excited to show my workflow. I wanted to showcase a project that I did a while back where I used the OB6 in conjunction with other VSTs and string sounds and kind of the whole kitchen sink to show how they all work together in the context of writing music for film. And the patch that I used for this scene was patch 437. I did some filter modifications and mess with the mixer and some of the, the frequencies of the VCO, but it's relatively straightforward from the preset. So I'm gonna play this piece of music for you so you can hear the context, and then we're gonna break apart how I made the sound and yeah, talk through it. So here's the piece. So here's the melody, it's in the cello, but it's split across a couple string family. The violin, the viola, the cello, and the contrabass. the little parts kind of coincide together to make this piece of music. What's going on with the OB6 is this sound right here. So it's just kind of a big bass sound. I'm manipulating it with the mod. The original reverb is actually baked into this WAV file. I recorded it through my H9, 
but I'm got a similar sound with my H9000 that I'm running through a software called Emo to make this sound. So essentially it's just a big, big reverb sound. I kind of dialed it in relatively similar to the sound. I manipulate the mod filter to get a little bit of that overdriven sound. So it's got a lot of deep sound and it's got a, a really nice top end that kind of comes in with the distortion to really open up the, the sonic spectrum of, of this piece. And in regards to VSTs, I'm using analog strings by output and the audio modeling SWAM string samples. And those in conjunction with the OB6 are kind of the whole piece. So now I'm gonna play along with the melody with the OB6 so you can hear what I'm talking about. So I hope this was informative to you. Like I said, the OB6 and all the Dave Smith line instruments are very musical, very intuitive, and can grab a lot of sounds really quick with the built-in presets. I like to dig deep, but sometimes I just like to grab a preset and do a couple light modifications to it and just jump on in. Oh, the OB6 in particular is a very musical box that has its own sound and identity, but it also is a great throwback to some 80s sounds that I've used in other projects that require that sound. The reason I chose this example is because in the real world setting, there is no one sound only. It's a blend of a myriad of sounds from VSTs to analog synthesizers to recorded instruments to field recordings. All these things work together in tandem to tell a story with music. And I hope this gave you a better understanding of how it works in my workflow. And maybe you can apply this to your workflow as well. Thanks so much for watching and take care.